Hello, welcome back to another Get It All Done video. This is going to be another all day clean with me. Everywhere's so messy. I was busy doing housework, decluttering, laundry, a grocery shop and general mum life. So if you need some serious cleaning motivation, then keep on watching. I'm starting off this clean today in our bedroom, which was so messy and dusty. Clothes were piled everywhere and I wanted to strip the bedding off to be washed, which if you've watched any of my cleaning videos before, you'll already know it's something that I like to do to begin a full day of cleaning with by getting the bedding off. Here I'm folding and sorting all the clothes, mostly mine, that were on the floor and putting them away in the wardrobe and in drawers, tidying all the mess so that I can dust and polish afterwards. We've still been having quite a lot of good weather in the UK and I just think that with the windows open, everywhere's getting super dusty, so I just needed to get it done today. Our bedroom has really been a space in the house that's been quite neglected the last few months. And even though we sold our bedside crib on Facebook Marketplace a while ago, it hasn't really felt like our room is back to normal after having two babies yet. If you're new around here, then hello, I'm Grace and I've got a two and a one year old. And yeah, like I say, this bedroom has just been taken over by children, like having our babies. And I really wanted to do better now at keeping our room clutter free as possible. Now I'm taking the sheets off the bed finally to be washed and here I'm quickly showing you my new pillow and I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to ask you guys, how did you sleep last night? As parents, we talk about sleep a lot. We sometimes compare sleep through social media these days. We might even have sleep envy at times. Sometimes we think about sleep in terms of a number. How many uninterrupted hours will we get tonight? How often do we think about sleep in terms of quality rather than quantity? For me, a good night's sleep means waking up feeling refreshed. And since I've switched over to sleeping on my Levitex pillow, I've noticed a number of beneficial improvements to my sleep. The Levitex team are sleep posture experts on a mission to educate the world about the importance of nighttime posture and to give us the right tools to improve it. So let me show you my new sleep surface in a bit more detail. This is my medium Levitex pillow. And what I really liked about the Levitex company to start off with is that it's not one size fits all. When you think about it, we all come in different shapes and sizes. So why do we all sleep on a bog standard size pillow? So the innovation behind this is that for different builds of people, like your height, you will get allocated a different size pillow or you can choose the different sizes. They sell four size Levitex pillows and they are made out of special Levitex foam. As you can see, it's really solid, which means that it's gonna support your head all night long and help you get that right posture when you're sleeping. So obviously a lot of us spend all day, we're either at work or we're on laptops, we're slouching over, we're looking after our children. So we don't always get the right posture during the day. What Levitex wants to do is encourage us all to get a good night's sleep through better posture. And one way to do that is through better sleep surfaces that are gonna support your head. Just wanted to pop over to give you a visual representation of what I was sleeping on before my Levitex pillow. So I was sleeping on a normal, I think it's polyester pillow. You can see here, just arches. When I hold it up, it doesn't hold its shape. Whereas when I hold the Levitex pillow up, it stays in exactly the same shape. It doesn't arc, it doesn't flop, it stays firm. So that just shows the comparison of the support that that's gonna give your head. Their pillows are gonna give your head posture the right ports that it needs to get a good night's sleep. As I said, mine is the medium size. For reference, I'm about five foot two. So my pillow size would not be the same size as my husband's. He is about six foot. He would need a larger size that would give him more support depth wise for his head. This is what I liked about the brand because it's not one size fits all. And that's quite a new idea in terms of like pillows because everyone just sleeps on roughly the same sort of size. If you think about it, we're all built very differently, so our needs are gonna be very different. I love that my pillow is really supportive without feeling over cushioned. I know that some pillows, they feel like really robust, but this is just the right amount of cushioning to support your head 
all night long and then it's also made me think differently about the way that I sleep so before I used to sort of sleep in lots of different positions mostly I was a side sleeper but I'd kind of like prop my hip up on the Levitex website there's a whole age that breaks down different and it describes the different sleep positions so would recommend you go check it out I kind of used to prop my hip up which although I was on my side it wasn't always the most comfy so I'm trying to really sleep now more aligned and a little bit straighter on my side and I'm using my old pillow in between my legs and benefits that I've noticed is that when I do fall asleep I manage to fall asleep quicker because I'm comfortable and I also seem to be in a deeper sleep I'm not sure if this is a coincidence or not it does also help that my baby sleeps through the night now too but I feel like when I wake up a couple of mornings I haven't even known what day it is so I think that's quite a good sign of like a heavy sleep but I haven't been waking up feeling sometimes if you have like a really heavy night's sleep but if you've slept awkwardly you can feel quite lethargic and almost it, you don't feel refreshed but I feel like I've slept deeply but I'm still waking up feeling super refreshed after sleeping on my super comfy Levitex pillow my husband is so jealous whenever we get into bed at night he's trying to swap sides and I'm like this isn't the right one for you anyway because he would need the, the next size up I think but he just thinks it feels so comfy too and he's really jealous of my pillow they really are right that your partners are going to try and steal your Levitex pillow so the Levitex team have also given me a amazing discount for you guys if you're interested it's going to be £10 off your Levitex pillow using the code GRACIEBLOSSOM10 do be sure to check out their website if you are interested in sleeping better at night I would highly recommend as a parent you literally can't put a price on a good night's sleep we're always wondering what sort of night we're going to get and now that I've got my Levitex pillow I know that I'm always going to feel well rested I'm going to get a comfortable night's sleep I'm not going to wake up in any sort of pain or discomfort yeah another thing that I also really like about it I know this might seem a little bit not important in terms of like obviously the most important thing is your sleep quality but I quite like the fact that this also does fit into my pillowcase so it fits the aesthetics of the room and I will leave more information on that discount down below for you so thank you so much to Levitex for working with me on this video. Back onto the cleaning part of the video now and I'm in my bathroom after I've put my washing on and as you can see it's an absolute disaster in here it was so dusty by the windowsill like a big cobweb the bathtub was filthy the boys have been really grubby like where they've been out in the garden like bringing muddy feet into the bath and water stains everywhere yeah it was just a disaster the bathroom room so I started off by emptying the bin because it was full and I like to put a little bit of neat disinfectant in the bin just like a drop loving these um, power drops from from the pink stuff and I just leave that in there to kind of like freshen it up really while I'm taking everything off the windowsill I've put some like drain unblocker down the sink and now I'm dusting all those nasty cobwebs away and cleaning the windowsill in the bathroom I'm um, taking all the towels off the radiator because they needed to be washed as well. This is something that I like to do when I spend a day cleaning, like freshen all the towels up. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting a new bin liner in the caddy, bin caddy here and cleaning the outside of it. And I'm also going to use a little bit of disinfectant like on the radiator while there's no towels on it, dust that off. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe how like cobwebby and just messy the bathroom was really the whole house was a disaster today I'm not joking you it really needed this clean so yeah I'm just using my minky bathroom pad to wipe over the um, radiator here then I'm sweeping up where I've just been kind of like dusting it's just made a lot of mess and now I'm putting some cream cleaner around the bath I don't actually rate this cream cleaner from the pink stuff. I got it in my cherries haul because I wanted to give it another go. I tried it a few years ago and it's quite watery so I'm just trying to use it up at the minute. So what I do is I leave the cream cleaner in the bath to sort of like work while I clean the toilet. Then this toilet duck arrived in my Tesco shop the same morning that I filmed and it smells so nice. Um, I really like duck is probably my favorite toilet cleaner. Again, I didn't really like the pink stuff toilet cleaner, but this, do this duck one 
I think it's like peach or something, it smells lovely, which I know it's a bit weird for a toilet cleaner, but it makes the whole bathroom smell really fresh. So then I'm cleaning all around the toilet there, and now I'm gonna disinfect the cloth because I did just use that cloth, this minky pad here, around like the bottom bit of the toilet and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave that in some neat disinfectant while I dust the unit. And I'm also gonna go in with some neat power drops on the light switch because this gets so much germs and like the door handle it's like a really they harbor so much bacteria and stuff and i try to do it when i clean but i sometimes forget so that i know that that's been done and then i'm heading back over to the bathtub and just going to clean down the tub the shower screen and the mirror in the bathroom so everywhere got a bit of a clean plus of course the sink too And as you can see, this is the end result. It's actually gleaming by the time I was finished. I was really pleased with my bathroom clean. I think this was the room that possibly needed a cleaning the most. You know when everything just feels like a mess and a disaster? That is what today feels like. And it's only 8.30 in the morning everywhere so messy so many jobs and now i'm just finishing off putting the remainder of my shopping away i just grabbed the toilet duck out because i knew that i had it on the delivery and i'm putting this all away with my toddler helping me it's something that he likes to do just put all the fresh food in the fridge from our tesco's food shop but there's just so many things out on the side that need putting away tidying tidying before i even clean and my fridge i'm not going to lie to you is Oh, without a stepping stone. An actual joke, how messy my fridge is. And I need, although I've just put my shopping away, probably later on I need to get everything out and clean it and organize it because this is, oh, it really needs organizing, but oh, I'll just put the food away for now to do it later. And one lot of washing that I'd previously put on was finished, so I'm just gonna hang some washing up on the line. If you've watched my videos before, you know that this is something that I just really like. I like hanging washing out on the line in the summer. It just feels really summery. Um, I know that's a bit of a strange thing. I don't really like doing laundry. Like I hate the putting away part, but I think it's quite a nice thing to put washing on the line on a sunny day. Um, anyone else like that enjoy it, but not the putting away part? So now I'm up in my toddler's bedroom, which as you can see, was a disaster again. Really needed tidying, sorting up, sorting out. There was loads of clothes and mess on the floor, but they were both awake, my children. So I've got my little one-year-old here helping me put some nappies away. And Elliot is gonna be walking around too, here he is. So it's quite hard to tidy when they're with me, but I like to just try and do it anyway. This is what I do, like I'll sit in the room with them, I'll shut the door, they can occupy themselves while I'm kind of sorting out as much as I can, even though when I'm tidying they will get more stuff out. But I did manage to get on top of it today, so I'm just putting their clothes away that are on the floor. Um, I find that it's like, because we sometimes get the boys changed in this room like at the end of the day, because this is the bigger bedroom out of the two boys. Like it will be Jasper's clothes and Elliot's clothes on the floor. So I have to sort out who's is who's and then put them away and then just tidy all the toys. I needed to make my toddler's bed. Um, yeah, just loads needed doing today. So I was so productive in this video. Like um, the house was spotless by the time I was finished. So keep on watching and don't forget if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up just helps out with my channel because YouTube knows that this is being watched and you're enjoying it and um, so yeah here I am hanging the clothes up in Elliot's wardrobe and then I'm dusting this little bookshelf that we've got here and polishing it too and polishing all the other furniture that's in the room and wow his room was spotless when I finished and um, the only thing that I didn't do like during this part of the clean was hoover but it was all like dust free and tidy which was basically the goal to declutter today um, just sort out and now I'm in Jasper's room which you can see is a lot smaller but there was still heaps of clothes on the floor like just we hadn't tidied for ages so putting all of those away I really need to make more of an effort to put clothes away like 
at the end of the day but it's they're just so tired by the end of the day and we just want to do like their bath time routine so they usually just get left on the floor i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's why there's so many now and then i'm dusting jasper's cot and all of his furniture and again his room looked so much tidier by the time i was finished I'm back downstairs now and the kitchen bin was really stinky i think it's just where it's like summer at the minute and it needed a deep clean so i'm out in the garden because it was a really nice warm day and i'm using some um star drops star drops all round purpose cleaner um i just like squeeze a bit at the bottom of the bin and then i hose it down um, it's just quite a nice easy quick and convenient way to clean the bin and here I'm just showing you the state that my fridge was in. I'm not lying, it really needed sorting out. Like I should have just sorted it out before I put my shopping away, but it just needed to be put away. So I'm actually getting everything back out now because I hadn't given my fridge a deep clean for months, which I know sounds a bit disgusting. And oh my God, this was so shameful. The vegetable drawer was gross. Um, it was the worst part of the fridge. So um, today I was dedicating some time to give the fridge a deep clean I was getting all of the shelves out and um, literally scrubbing it so it was so fresh here you can see again I'm just using another bucket of that all-purpose cleaner it's a bit like washing up liquid really it's nice and foamy and so I actually put the bucket in the fridge otherwise I feel like I'm just up and down and then I'm just gonna wipe the shelves over with a microfiber cloth and give that vegetable drawer a scrub Oh my god, I was so ashamed when I saw how filthy it was. I actually went in with some disinfectant with that as well because it was so minging. And look how sparkling it looked when I was finished. And that was a real good job done. And it was really nice and tidy when I put everything back properly. And now I'm going to just do a little bit more like housework in the kitchen. So I'm descaling my kettle. I've done a whole video on how I do this. So I'll link that at the end of this video if you want to see how I do it in more detail. So I use citric acid to descale the kettle. And while I'm waiting for it to boil, I'm just cleaning sort of around that area. And I leave it for about 15 minutes. So in that time, I was cleaning the sink. I'm emptying that bucket that I cleaned the fridge out with. And then I'm just like a broken record here, but I'm using the pink stuff paste for my sink. You know, if, if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. I just love the pink stuff, stuff paste so much. I'm constantly using it in my kitchen, mostly my kitchen, but I sometimes use it in the bathroom. It's just so good at cleaning the sink and hob, and it just is a fail-proof way to get your sink hob whatever whatever really sparkling i love it i'm using a dish matic to do that and our sink always gets like loads of tea stains in this like middle bit and it gets like really dirty and it's just a really satisfying job to get done i prefer to clean the sink than the hob but the hob needed doing too i should have actually done it the other way around but i was just doing this job because i was near the sink before um, what part of the house do you guys like to clean most? I think I'm a kitchen clean, like I prefer kitchen cleaning. If the hob wasn't too bad, it was just a, a little bit mucky. So that's what it looked like before. It had like loads of, I think I'd, I'd cooked something and I got loads of pepper all over the hob. Um, so I'm just wiping that pepper off first with a microfiber cloth. Then I'm going back in with the pink stuff and my kitchen minky pad. After I finish cleaning the hob, I'm just going to be disinfecting and shining up all of the appliances, worktops and that sort of thing in the kitchen, like the boys' high chairs needed a bit of a clean too. Just cleaning everywhere around. Thank you. 
it's a little bit later on in the day now it's actually the evening i'm cooking dinner and while my rice is cooking sometimes i like to set myself a quick challenge because i set like a five minute timer for the rice and then i like to try and hoover the downstairs of the house before the timer goes off so i'm just running the dyson round um the living room it was didn't really need too much of like cleaning or dusting because i did it the other day but did need to just tidy up the sofa and shake some of the dog hair off of it and plump the cushions up so i just quickly did that and then continued hoovering the downstairs of the house Okay, it's later on still. The boys are both in bed by this point and it's time for me to finish this clean by mopping the floor with my trusty floor mopping slippers and my pink stuff floor cleaner. So what I like to do, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, is I run a really hot bucket of this pink stuff cleaner in my Valida Ring and Go mop bucket and I've put a few capfuls of that floor cleaner in there and it just is a really nice way to clean the whole floor through. Um, I did just need to go in with the dustpan and brush because I took the play mat up from in the playroom and underneath it was quite a bit of mess. You'll see here, this was how much mess that was underneath the play mat. And obviously, because my children were both in bed, I couldn't use the hoover. Um, so then I also like to just put the boys little chairs upside down so I can mop thoroughly and um, yeah this was what was on the floor underneath the play mat. Finishing this clean off with a nice mop brown this smells so fresh and it just makes the kitchen and the whole well the whole downstairs really smell really nice and the floor looks really shiny when I'm done um, so yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this clean with me get it done don't forget to check out that Levitex discount code down below and I will see you soon for another video.